Real Life Street Stars. Let's put, let's freaking go <laughs> for the kids out there, man. Yeah. We got them in the building, man. Uh, man, the Ice Man cometh. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah y'all know what it is, the Can't, Ice Maker. Yeah. I ain't gonna say the Ice Maker, Yellow Bopper Breaker. That's just that's back in the day. Yeah, that's that's, back in the, just the Ice Maker. Just you know the Ice Maker. The Duke. The Duke, baby. <laughs> and check me out, Katie the Jeweler, man. Uh, man, we had you back. Uh. Uh, this is your second time on the couch, man. Yeah, finally, thank you for uh, finally, 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 finally got I mean, we, back. We have been in the, in communication yeah, to get this thing yeah, done. We didn't yeah. have some more business since then. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, when y'all see real life street stars stepping out with them pieces with that ice, mm -hmm. uh, this is the the curator. Yeah. Of yeah. that jewelry, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as uh, putting it together, Gym City. Um. Uh. And what other? Are, Katie, Katie Custom Jewelry. Katie, Katie Custom Jewelry. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Then you know I bought Gym City. But it's Jim City, Katie Custom Jury, either or we shit, we doing the same thing. It's gonna be all nothing but good quality. Whatever you want. I work with your budget. All right, there you go. There you go. Now, mind you, and I wanna say this interview was already planned. Mm -hmm. So it's funny how things work. Yeah. When yeah. Uh, we was already supposed to come in here, talk about some new pieces that we know real life wanna get. We get mm -hmm. we curious about some new stuff. Um, and then we see an interview where uh uh Charleston White, I believe, was on Say Cheese. <laughs> and um he talks about uh, the jewelry he has versus mm -hmm. the jewelry he wants yeah. and kind of what it looks like. Now, before we even speak on it, um, did you see that video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you've seen, seen it. it. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. That's my nigga, man. Like, that's, yeah. you know, Charleston. Charleston is just Charleston, man. Yeah. I just respect that nigga. His, you know, everybody is a, uh, has a entitled to their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know Charleston. I know what you want. Now, I really know what you want. You know what I'm saying? Now, now I really, I really know, know what you want. <laughs> so now, shit, you know what I mean? We just need to get in the lab and do it. You know what I'm saying? I heard, uh, you know, I heard that he was saying something about Johnny Dang got, you know, better diamonds than this and that. But, nigga, I don't give a damn if it's Johnny Dang, if it's Tyrone or Shaniqua Wood doing jewelry. It, we all got access to the same diamond. Johnny don't got access to a certain mind that... He can only get the best diamonds out the mine. Like everybody got access, but it just costs. You know, you you dealing with a different type of um, I don't want to say a different type of jeweler, but he Johnny is just in another level than dealing where I'm at. It. I'm still I'm steady reaching. You know, I'm still reaching for where where I'm trying to get. You know, Johnny already there, so you know Johnny getting a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar orders and shit like that. You know, so it is a difference though. Now. When we speak about quality, because like I said, mm. our shit busts whenever we step yeah. into the uh, any in any 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 venue or play, wherever. Our shit busts. We always get mad compliments. Um, when we get to talking about like what when you say a celebrity jewelry like a Johnny Dang, uh, you typically paying for the name and yeah. not the. So let let's let's educate the people on why you think you would go to a Johnny Dang. Oh wait wait wait! Before before we educate, because we this is gonna be education class. I have to ask you, on Charleston White's piece, mm -hmm. um, and this is because you just said something where like now I know what you want. Yeah. When a Charleston White or any other celebrity comes in, do they convey what they want, or do you have to try to read into what they want and learn what they because. Someone just said, I just want some diamonds, and they don't quite know what they want. Do you have to try to break that down? Yeah, it just depends on, like you said, it just depends on the person. As far as with Charleston, when we first did that 99 of Boo Boo piece, uh, yeah. I gave him the option to go with all diamonds on it or diamonds and gold. And, you know, Charles was like, you know, shit, he know what it is. He know what the value, where the value of all jewelry is, which is gold. So he wanted more gold than diamonds. Mm. So that piece I designed it with more gold, and then we, you know, flooded it out with diamonds. Just like, for example, with this, you know, with this light wall, this wall right here. If you take out, I don't know how many, if it's 50, 50 uh, lights on here, if we take out 30 of them, it's just gonna shine a certain way. Yeah. If we keep it all, it's yeah. gonna shine harder. So as far as his piece is more gold than diamonds, you know, and then. If we want to flood it out, we can flood it out. You know, I don't know. He was saying like, "Nigga, I got Johnny Dang money now." Yes, hell yeah. yeah nigga, spend, <laughs> spend some Johnny Dang money with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. You know, I'm gonna turn it up because I know for a fact. You know, never made no money off of Charleston. You know, I, I everything I've done for him is 
was wholesale or, you know, I looked out for them because, shit, I'm paying motherfuckers I don't know to, to try to promote my shit and they prom- ain't promoting it. Charles is promoting my shit. He on all kind of shit promoting. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's the nigga that I used to do telemarketing with. My last paycheck, that 300, I opened up my business. So, shit, I respect that nigga because if it was, wasn't for him, a lot of people wouldn't know who I am. People know who I am. Charleston just took it to a whole nother level. Yeah, we was already going to do business with you, but when Charleston mm-hmm. came in with his piece, yeah. it kind of certified that, nah, let's stay with the black jeweler. Let's stay with KD. Let's make sure we go through there. Because at the time, his piece was hard. Like, yeah, just to be, yeah, yeah. for a mold of mm-hmm. Charleston's face. I'm like, that's, Nick could have yeah. had him looking wookie out here, but that, that nigga looked like the nine nine boo boo thing he had. Yes. Now, real quick, I want to, just for the, for the fans at home to know, mm-hmm. Charleston had came here and spoke on you before um, of y'all history. What is y'all history? Because he said he knew... Like you, y'all knew each other before the fame. Like yeah. What, what were y'all? What was y'all meeting? What was y'all business early on? Man, just to, I mean, really the grace, really the grace of God. But our mothers, that's how. That's what I really feel. It is. We got praying mothers. You know what I'm saying? Like Charles Simon, the Last time I seen her, uh, she gave me like a card. It was a prayer card that I read, and it, it's like an inspi- inspirational uh, notes of prayers. You know, and I think that's the reason why we where we at. You know, me and Charleston started off at a telemarketing agency. That's why I say I never turn or nothing. Cause when I was at my low point, I didn't have no motherfucking car. That nigga came and picked me up when I got kicked out the house. You know, we used to co- go to work together. This nigga schooled me. You know that that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna ride with Charleston I, through all this shit that people be saying here and there, nigga. That's my nigga. You know, I'm gonna fuck with that nigga till the day that I die. That's my nigga. That's what it is. All right, so let mm-hmm. let's take him down in education because. Charleston did for the simple man. Mm. They see a man across the room says, man, his ice is shining harder than mine. Yeah. What did I go wrong? I need that kind of stuff. Shit. I mean, I mean, and so when, when, and, and, and again, he, he he catered it to Johnny Dang when he sees uh, some of them Houston boys' teeth and the way they be hidden. Um, he's like, that's what I want. So let's go down to education because when you do see a man standing across the room mm. And just for some reason, it's just blinding. I remember I was at an R. Kelly concert once. And he had a bracelet about eight inches, you know, about let's just say yeah. four inches thick. Yeah. And it was just, it's, I couldn't take, it's like, it, it was just hitting so hard from me. I'm up in the nosebleeds. I'm like, damn. So I've been wondering like, what is that? Because let's just say some kids won't know the difference between a CZ, a Moissanite, a Diamond, an S1, VS. Um, yeah. Let's go, let's go through the education of it. All right, so to, to me, like, the the uh it don't even matter if it's VS, SI, VVS, Monster Knight, Lab Diamonds, so long as you get the top shade of the diamond, it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Now, uh I did hear him say something about Rollo. I mean, shit, Rollo, I don't, ain't no telling what he spent on that. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. And then, like, for example, I got top and bottom, so it brings it out more. Like I was saying, as far as that light, you know, if I if I just got my bottom shown, it's not gonna hit the same like if I got my top and bottoms done. But VVS is the best do- diamonds that you can go with. But then you got you got solitary diamonds. You got uh, you got baggage. You got emeralds. You know what I'm saying? You got emeralds diamonds. They all reflect the light different. If you want to be, if I if I had the 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 choice of going with man, say I want to get my shit busting that when I'm standing next to this person, this person is gonna kill him. Then shit, nigga, let's go with let's go with some emerald diamonds. Let's just get the cuts right. Let's do like a 32 flasted on it, which is more cuts on the diamonds, and then go with BBS. Is that way when you standing next to I don't give a fuck the sun, yo shit gonna <laughs> hit. Stand next to the sun. It's gonna be <laughs> killing something. Shining harder than the mm-hmm. goddamn baby on the uh, uh, Teletubbies. Um, on, for, for those that want to know, as far as the diamonds, uh, when you say BBS, VS, uh, can you what is what for like what is the lowest and what is the highest when it comes to that? Cause that's talking about quality, right? Yeah, you can go with I. You can go with I. You know, a lot of times when you go to like a a mall or something, and you see like got little diamonds in there, and then you look at it, it look kind of cloudy. That's like could be like a eye clarity diamond or even lo- lower. SI is still a good diamond. The only reason that people ain't really respecting SI because these rappers, oh VVS diamonds. This you know everybody's talking about VVS because now. Somebody then told him, well, these are VVSs. These are the best diamond to go with. But you can go with a VS that hit harder than a VVS. It's just all about the top shade and the cut of the diamonds. So, you know, all of that matters when it comes down to that look that you want. Then you have a flawless diamond. I say, when someone says flawless. Yeah, flawless. You know, that's just a, a, a little 
step above v- VVS Diamonds. And it, that means you don't have no, like when you look at it, it, you're not seeing no imperfection. It's a flawless diamond. But you can, so you can get a same thing. You can get, it's all about the top shade and that's the color. When you look at the color chart on a diamond chart, you'll see what diamonds you should go to. You can see it and start seeing, all right, if you go uh, H, I, J, you know, all of that means something. Then you'll start seeing the color. Is it white? Is it yellow? You know, sometimes you, you'll have like a, like a lot, a lot of times if a client telling me that he wants a uh, rose gold, like I want a rose gold wedding ring, I will go with a VS or I will, I will go with a VVS, whatever he tell me, but I'll go with the top shade. It's a diamond that the color might not be white. You might not want a white diamond on top of a rose gold because you want that rose gold look. You might go with a color that's kind of looks like it's rose. So the diamond will still look like a VVS busting diamond, but it'll blend in more with the rose gold versus a white diamond just sitting on top of a rose gold. It's, it's the same thing. It's just the, the, the color of it. So I've heard where the G H I there's you probably no difference when mm-hmm. you get to J. Yeah, that's when it starts changing a little bit. Is that true as far yeah, as yeah? Um, like when you look at the color chart, all of that matters. Like that does change the the clarity of the diamond. Like you want to go with uh, that's why like a lot of people are like well, I want I want J clarity. I want K clarity. When people speaking like that, they know they know in they diamond, but. As far as everybody else that's not looking deep into it, they just, man, I want VVS diamonds. You know, you can get a VVS diamond that's a bullshit VVS diamond. The clarity might be low. You know, they'll, they'll say, oh, yeah, brother, I'll send you, sell you a, a VVS diamond for uh, 5000 But then you came to me and was like, man, I want VVS diamonds. And I gave you that. You know, I might give you the option. Well, shit, my nigga, this one going to be 8000 Ah, oh, man, he would charge me 5000 for the, the, the VVS what clarity was it? What 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 scale was it? Because it could be, now he can give you one that it ain't going to shine hard. It might be, you know, just because the paperwork say VVS is not giving you what you want. You want that bright, bright look. So you got to go with a top shade of it. So I think I think what what we need to crack is uh, the fact that when niggas talk about uh, I want a Johnny Dang diamond or Emmett diamond or a uh, uh, Eliante diamonds. There is no particular diamond. Nah. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. Like you, I think like there's no these niggas, these people, these gentlemen don't have their own individual diamonds. Like even if you say a Tiffany diamond or a Rolex diamond, these yeah. are just diamonds that that company bought and put in their product. Man, at the end of the day, we all buying our diamonds from like the same spot. You know, it's, right. it's just like. It might, it's, uh, it's just like, like a, like a gas company, you know, like right. it, you can get this gas from one spot, but then they'll sell it to mobile or Exxon or shells or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with diamonds. If you give me that type of money for me to get you the high end diamond, I can do it. If you telling me you just want this, like my, this is my budget. Like I, I, I broke, cause I get this a lot. Man, I want VVS diamonds all over. And I was like, well, shit, um, after calculating everything, we got 30 carats, blah, blah, blah. It'll, you looking at like 50,000. Oh, um, bro, I wasn't trying to spend that. No, man, um, what, what can you do for 10,000? All right, well, shit, we still can do VVS, mm-hmm. but we had to bring the, we got to bring the, the, the carats down, or we had to, we had to change mm-hmm. something up because you want VVS, but you, you won't have VVS money. So right. we need to figure out what we need to figure out. That's why I always tell people, tell me what your budget is and tell me what you, you know, want. That I, way I could design it for you exactly how you want and it. I, and, and, you know, I was just going to say I, the fact that you're like, you know. A lot of individuals said be like, tell me what your budget is so they can figure out. And he, here's what a black man is scared of. Here's what I was always scared of. They want to know my budget because they want to see how much of that they can eat into and where they can where they can cut me cut at, where yeah. they can cut corners. Uh, but you, from the work you've done for me, uh, you've always like, well, let's we can get the best thing possible, but let's know where the money's at, yeah, so we can know what you can spend and where, where we can where we can you know shift and move things around, and you don't try to uh cut corners and get get over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because re- really, what it is is like, 
we, I'm wasting my time and I'm wasting your time. If you telling me like I had, uh, man, I want, man, I want a piece about, man, let me see. Yeah, I want a piece iPhone, about this size. iPhone Pro Max size. And I'm like, that, God, you want it that big? Yeah, I want it that, yeah, I want it. Man, let me look. Yeah, let me, yeah. Yeah, about, yeah, <laughs> yeah, about, yeah I want it about this this size how I want it. Solid gold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and and all, all VVS diamonds. Oh, nigga. So then now, I'm okay. Now, I, I you know, I have departments, and that's another thing, too, that I want to address. It's not, uh... It's not nothing cap or nothing like that. It's just like I, you know, I heard also like, um, oh, it's cap. Black jewelers don't do uh, the jewelry or he ain't. Not, I, honestly, I'm, nigga, I'm not doing jewelry like that no more. Yeah. Like it, it got to be something very special for me to sit down and spend time. Once you know jewelry, like I know jewelry, it like it like just that that small uh real life three star piece that'll probably take me like two weeks to cast it and hand set it that bigger one probably take me about a month probably a month month and a half in in between her so just imagine that's one yeah. now i got i and and i do i i just don't put their business out there i do wholesale work for other jewelry stores people out of town people even in town so now you bringing me 30 orders. So what am I supposed to do? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a super jeweler that I'm going to sit here and do everybody jewelry at one time. Now, nigga, I, that's the whole purpose of getting money and using your money where you need to put it. I, promote, I put money into a factory. I got a factory. And I have jewelers there. You come to Gym City, I got jewelers there. You go to Katie Cousin Jewelry, I got so, one jeweler there. So I got jewelers that's on hand that's working, and it just depends on what kind of work it is. If we getting all like all oh, y'all orders, shit, I did, shit, I did, I think all four of y'all's, yes. and it probably took like a month, month and a half or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's because I got other people working. That's mm -hmm. like selling dope. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing it because this is real life street stars, nigga. So I'm telling you some real shit. Back in the day, we starting off getting that ounce and breaking it up and selling it and going back and getting another one and selling. I'm doing it myself. I'm driving that around, doing it, taking chances, doing it, doing all this shit myself. Then it got to a point that, damn, I'm getting more. You know what I'm saying? You're getting more and more. I don't have time to go do all of this no more. Now it's like, say, well, you want to make some money? Well, shit, let nigga get this, nigga, do, 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 do. You know, and that's just like the jewelry game. When I start seeing my name getting up there, that I'm getting so many grills, I'm getting so many pieces. So it's like, damn, nigga, how am I going to do this? Because now, by me not delivering, it's causing problems. Because if niggas, if you give, if you, they give you money, if niggas give you money, shit, <laughs> shit, they give you money. They want your, they want they shit what's like the, in the nerve. What, what, what's the fastest a nigga has tried to get you to turn his shit around? Like how shit in a day, <laughs> in a motherfucking day, say same day, really? I like say, well, come on, my nigga. No, 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 nigga, this, but what's the name could do it? And now, like, well, shit, if he can do it here, go, nigga, go get it. So, so let me ask you, having the factory and having a pipeline, if somebody says, yes, I want an iPhone Pro Max on my neck with my name on that hoe, about how long does that take to do? When I, he said, I want encrusted, whatever kind of diamonds. I just want that bitch. We have to go, first, we have to put it into my design department. Yeah. And that's where they design it. Once, I, once you tell me what you want, then I'll give, I'll sketch it out and be like, look, this is what we want. This is how many inches, this is how many characters it's going to be. If I know, I'll tell you, well, shoot, this is his budget. That's why I always ask, what is the budget? Right. So we're, we got this amount, so that means we can play with 50 grams of gold and 10 carats of diamonds. So let's design that the way that he wants it for that. If it's not coming out the way that he wanted, then bro, we're gonna have to go up on the price or we're gonna have to bring it a little smaller because it's not taking everything that you want. That's why I like telling people what's the budget. I'm not worrying about money. Like to me, I'm not no nigga that I like shit. I'm a money magnet nigga. That's that shit gonna come so long as I I'd rather make sure that I do you right, that you go back and be like, say, man, that nigga KD, man, that nigga looked out, he made this for me. Then you bring him more niggas versus me taxing you like, man, that nigga take KD, tax me, my nigga. And man, don't fuck with that nigga. No, you ain't gonna hear that. I don't got that reputation. You gonna say, man, that's a real ass nigga, go fuck with him. He gonna, whatever your budget is, you gonna make it work. And that's what we gonna do. And I can attest to that, because I was like, 
I'm like, I'm trying to spend this. He'd be like, nah, we don't need to spend all that. Yeah. You, we, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I've never heard a nigga say, well, you don't probably need to spend all that. You can spend this and it's going to give you the same, same effect. Same look, yeah. And you're going to get the same look and you're going to fuck the same host. And yes. that's what, that's <laughs> all we ultimately trying to do. Like, God damn it, come on. <laughs> I don't want to be three months later and the whole count that went down. Right. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's, that, but another thing is that y'all dealing with different type of sellers. You know what right. I'm saying? They going to try to, nigga, they, shit, they, let me let me let me express this one more time, and this is just for the whole world to know. I I didn't come from no money. I, my family don't got no fucking gold mine. They don't have no fucking diamond mine. I don't got a group of motherfuckers my race that's putting money into me in order for me to do this business. This is me. This is from a three hundred dollar check starting off in a in a motherfucking uh, small ass box. Trying to with pictures on the wall showing grills that I, I can do. This ain't no, I'm not, this ain't, I ain't got no PPP loan. I ain't got no business loan. I don't got nothing. This is straight out the mud. You know, like you might, oh man, I came up to the shop. You don't have uh, all these big chains and this and that. No, nigga, the market ain't on that right now. I'm a businessman versus flossing. If I see this is selling, I'm gonna have that. If I see this is selling, I'm gonna have that. What's the purpose of putting myself in a financial bind of trying to fill my showcases up with all these big chains? Now, just for niggas to walk by and be like, oh, man, how much is that? Oh, 40,000? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, how, how much is that? <laughs> 200. Well, shit, man, can I, what, can you do 150? God damn, nigga, I just told you 200. You want 150 now? I can't, I'm losing. I'm steady losing. Mm -hmm, right. So why not pay attention to the market and give the people what they want? Now, if you got 50 bands, 100 bands, or this and that, nigga, I do custom jewelry. Look, I know the baby ain't complaining about his shit. That nigga spent 200,000 on his piece. That nigga, and he's still wearing that. And bitch. wearing it. He yeah. wear that more than anything. Right. Damn near the size of his head. Like, you know, it's just certain... But I, I can do whatever you want. If you are if you're a kid and you like, oh, I want I want a little J with my name on it. What's your budget, little guy? <laughs> uh, right. 300. OK, well, shit, we're going to make it. It's going to put some little diamond cuts around it. Give you a little rope chain. There you go. 300 or somebody big. Say, man, I heard about you, my nigga. I'm trying to get this net. What's the budget? Man, I, shit, I got like a hundred. Well, bet, bet. Let me put it together. And then my hundred is going to be different than his hundred. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I'm not, I, I want to do good business that way that when you go and show something, I'm like, man, I spent a hundred on this. Damn, a hundred. Well, shit, I went over here, nigga. I spent a hundred on this. Right. But damn, I, there it go right there. There it go right there. Now, we talk about uh, a nigga saying he want a, uh, maybe a phone, is, uh, his piece as big as an iPhone. Yeah. And we don't realize like visually uh, or as far as putting that on, that's that's ridiculous. big. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> like so, and what I learned in this is like, when you think of three inches, you think, oh, that's not big. But on a piece, it's big. It's big as fuck. Big and heavy. Big and heavy. <laughs> so, it, so for the average nice piece, how many inches would you say is good? I would say two to two and a half inches. You know, normally, and then when I'm saying two and a two and a half inches is normally going from left to right, not right. up and down. Right. And that's when people get like their names or logos or whatever the case may be. But I did, I just, man, I hate that I can't remember your name, my nigga, but I'm a, I'm telling people what they need to look on my page. That Doughboy, I, his, his piece is that, he said it. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, I want my piece. He was like, well, not just that big, but at least to right here. I'm like, nigga, that's still big. <laughs> that's still big. You know, that's bigger than a bitch. He's a big ass chain to hold it. Yeah, and he did. He, and he, he, I think, I don't know what, I'm not going to, two to 300 gram rope chain. Could be more. I don't know. But he said it. And then I was like, well, shit, let me figure it out, my nigga. I got you. Let's, let's, let me put the numbers and shit. I can tell he was from, he was from Arkansas. And, um... Man, when y'all go, y'all go to the Gym City page uh, on IG, it's the dope boy coming out the piece holding the, the money bag. You see his shit, nigga. That I think it's damn near 200 grams, probably 40 to 50 carats. I really don't know, but that hoe is hard and hidden. But he wanted that, so I charged him what it was, and he paid it with no problem. That's what he wanted. 
And how did he feel about his piece after he Shit, still to this day, the nigga, I'm making them a ring right now. Nigga said, so when they, I'm making when they, a ring right now. When they come them. back, you know it's real. Yeah, you know. <laughs> they don't, if, they if you don't see him again, partners. if you don't see him again, that's, that's, that's that tell you. They, especially they went somewhere else and bought some new, like they yeah. went somewhere else. God damn. So let me ask you, um, when it comes to, and you know, we gotta, we gotta talk about it, you know, because folks, is the, it's, it, it's taking over. The lab created, aka the Morrison Knight. Yeah. Um, you spoke on this last time, but let's re let's revisit this because it's been a while. What are your thoughts now? Has it changed on the Morrison Knight? Um, when it comes to selling, because you know you're a jeweler, yeah. you will have lab created as well. Um, when it comes to selling the Morrison Knight, has your pitch changed when it comes to trying to get people to purchase Morrison Knight? Yeah. It, I, and I'm going to tell you why it changed. Um, I ain't going to put, I ain't, I'm not going to say no names because uh, everybody go through their they financial problems. Okay. After the motherfucking PPP loan and all that shit, nigga, a lot of people in the streets, a lot of people got fucked off. You know, like a lot of people had to pay that shit back or the streets ain't moving like they did now. Uh, you know, you got uh, Oklahoma doing weed, you know, it's legal. You all the just, just, <laughs> say, every, so the streets is bad. So a lot of people came back trying to sell me their jewelry, sell me back their watches and all this. I had a dude come, uh, he had a piece and the piece was like, it had like, I want to say like 40 carats of diamonds. Uh, I think it weighed almost 200 grams, like 100 and something grams. And he was like, KD, man, I'm trying to sell this. And I'm like, yeah, I can't do nothing with it, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. It got, it got your name on it. Nobody want to buy your shit. You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, what, what can you, I'll say, well, shit, as far as me, I can buy the gold. You know, I don't need a diamond because that's too much for me to do to take, to take your piece, break it down, try to separate the diamonds and use that diamond to make that diamond fit another piece that I'm designing versus me just designing that piece for what, what it need and then just getting the diamond for it and that's it. Yeah. So I was like, well shit, what I can do, let me take it to the refinery. They'll cut me a check right then and there since you need the money fast. So I took the piece, I think he spent, uh, he bought the piece with the previous owner for like, I think like 32,000. Okay. It was a nice size piece. Man, they handed me that check when I took it to the refinery for like thirty six hundred. Yeah, and gave me the bag of diamonds back and was like, "Here are the diamonds." Damn. I said, "Damn, Damn. <laughs> nigga, you spent all this money and they just gave you, they gave you ten percent of what you spent." And then here's your diamonds. Here's your bag of diamonds. And motherfuckers ain't buying diamonds like that because everybody buying diamonds all over. They don't even want to take a chance of trying to buy your diamonds. And then we got to test each one of the diamonds yeah. <laughs> to see if it's real or lab or monster night. Like they don't want like they, he probably still got the diamonds to his day. Bang. So my just being real and I'm, I'm not trying to uh, sell y'all like y'all can do what the fuck y'all want to do is your money. But. Put your money into gold. Put your money into gold. Now you, you, we, we, I think what it is is that we was kind of brought up off of going to school and niggas like, oh, that nigga got the Wookiees. That nigga got fake Jordans on. So we so in tune with, oh, we ain't, I ain't rocking nothing fake. I ain't rocking nothing fake. Now the, the lab diamonds, the Moss Knights, real diamonds, VVS diamonds, all that, you're going to spend all this money now. If it's a big solid diamond, that's a difference. Cause you know you can that you can put that up in the safe or somebody gonna buy that. That's like that's where the value at. But all these one pointers, one point two pointers, three pointers, shit like that. It really don't have. And I'm giving y'all the game. I'm giving y'all the game. Like I'm giving y'all the game. Cause I know other Joe like man. He, oh, why the fuck is he? I mean, cause I'm trying to look out for my people. I'm trying to tell y'all put your money into. Look at gold right now. Twenty like twenty four. Twenty four hundred an ounce. When yeah. I started off, gold was three dollars an ounce. <laughs> yeah. I mean, three three hundred dollars an ounce. Then it went up to like nine. Then it went up to fifteen, and then eight, uh, sixteen, then eighteen, then twenty four. Like God, like why it, do you think it's going up so so hard? That, what is it called? A brick, brick, bricks, bricks, yeah. bricks. What is that? What is it called? Fortnite. No, the the new currency they doing overseas. Bricks, yeah, bricks. See, people ain't, we so, we so focused on this. Mm. We ain't focused on this. Like they shutting down, they, they doing, they starting off this new currency, which is weakening the dollar. So the dollar is not as strong as it, as it gold. I was going to be 
the most important thing. You know, that that that's what that's why I'm telling y'all to put your money more into gold versus diamonds. You ain't, motherfuckers ain't buying diamonds like that. Yeah, we shining. Yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You we hidden, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, nigga, you go sell this shit, you're like, oh yeah, we just want the gold. Yeah. We don't, we, you can keep the diamonds. <laughs> you done bust your shit all the way down. You got, now if you got money to fuck off, that's cool. Like, do you? Like, but if you trying to look at longevity, if you putting diamonds on you and shit like that, yeah, go get insurance on your, your, your jewelry. Go get insurance, get a, get an appraisal, get your shit insured. So if anything happens, they would take care of it. But focus more on, putting your money into gold because later, if, like I said, when I started off, it was $300 an ounce. Now it's $2,400 uh, $2, an ounce. It's probably going to be $3,000 or $5,000 an ounce because it's steady going up, which I think is going to be a war soon to try to balance and, and get everything yeah, back. Oh yeah. It's got to be because uh, nigga, you not going to fuck off America because here's because <laughs> niggas going to stop buying shit. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I mean, shit, niggas slowly stop buying shit now. Right. Like, I'm just looking at the books. I'm just seeing, like, everybody ain't coming spending money like they used to. Niggas is holding on. Tax season, shit, that, that was a whole nother ball game. Yeah, yeah. I'm for every jewel of tax season goes up, just like, you know, cars and shit. And yeah. then by the time summer hit, it kind of goes down. So let me ask you, um, just on average, somebody spends $100,000 on a diamond custom piece of, you know, the Walmart logo or some random shit mm -hmm. that's, that's not resellable. You're saying trying to get that back off? No, that's actually, that's a, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> we, we about to see. <laughs> when, it, when it comes back to resale, you're saying people might get maybe 10, 20% of, just trying to take it to, let's say, a pawn, you know, just anywhere. Like, hey, I just need, I need my money back. So taking a $100,000 piece, they might barely get 20000 back. Man, it, it just, I would say it's all about the, the how, how, how much gold you have on there. Because yeah. that's what they focus on. Like gold, like I can, like I can find a, a gold ring right now, and I can go to a pawn shop or a refinery. And they gonna, it's, nobody's gonna say no. I don't want to buy the gold. Nobody gonna say it. Nobody gonna say it. that's like you having a hundred dollars and you handing it to somebody. They're like, ah, oh, man, I don't want that hundred. You sure you don't want that? Nah, I don't want that hundred. It's cool. Go take it to somebody else. No, nah, you gonna take that money. And that's what gold is. It's money. It's, that's that's just a solid form of money. And it's more valuable than a paper dollar. So if you're spending that type of money, which if you have that, that's your, you know, that's your business. If you got money to spend and put it into gold and diamonds and you want to look the part and all that, like it's cool. But at the end of the day, if you get into a jam and try to go sell that back to the jeweler or go try to sell it to the pawn shop, they're going to say, how much does it weigh? Okay, well, uh, after after gold price uh, refining Damn. meltdown, you're gonna lose some when you melt down. Uh, and they well, gonna give you, you scrap. Know, they gonna give you some bullshit. They gonna give you scrap gold price too. Don't yes, they, you're they not definitely gonna, get, gonna do that. <laughs> you're not getting ten carry gold, none of that shit. Price. Nah, you getting gold. scrap prices. All right, so when it comes to lab created moissanite, and uh, you know we t we talk about this when it comes to buying your girl an engagement ring. Mm -hmm. And you walk, you're shopping in Katie's custom jewelry, or let's say you're just going to K Jewelers, whatever, and they have the lab created section, the natural diamond section. If a man is floating around the lab created diamond section, he's just looking at just sparkling so nice, and you know, it's it's VV as they see that he sees the names and a quarter of the price. Um, what do you feel as far as the world going to where natural diamond doesn't even make sense anymore? And it's all we prefer. And let's say lab created is, is his choice where now we're just leaning towards lab created and natural diamond is just, it doesn't even make sense no more to even go that way. I, I don't have no connections with Zells, Robin Brothers or none of that. But when I went there four or five years ago, looking for an engagement ring, I just wanted to see how much they was running. Yeah. They was like, sir, we have, uh, we have this three carat diamond. We want 38,000 for it. But if you're that's out of your budget, we have this lab created for twenty two thousand. And I'm like, damn, yeah, lab created still that high, you know. And then it's all about, and they looking at, they give you this, this is where they make y'all feel like y'all really getting something. They giving y'all paperwork, 
for the lab dom and even Moss Knight. Like, here's the paperwork for it. Who gives a fuck about who is looking at that paperwork? <laughs> like who who what insurance company say, oh, all right, this is a lab diamond and it's two carrots and it's all right. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, you know what's so crazy when I think about a lab diamond, I always think about C B D. Like they be like, you going yeah. to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you still gonna get high, just different, different high. It's a different high. No, so, no, but they, they charge yeah, but it yeah, we want the sixty dollars. Yeah, See, you you owe sixty. I can get some weed. I can get some weed. Oh, you get ten percent off. And then <laughs> then try to go sell that lab diamond and see oh. see how your feelings gonna be hurt. Oh. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm seeing that a lot of people is converting to the Moss Nights and Lab because of their finances. Like but, you know, so why do you? Why do you think uh, people are still investing? Because here's it. my thing is like, if you can't have what the natural, then why even get jewelry? You know, that's always been my thing. If Man, I can't get to- It's just like social media, nigga. It's all about the look. It, it's what you, you want to play this person like, man, you can- No, but, but wait, wait. Man, wait just... lab, lab created hit harder though. When I see that light, yeah. that's how I know it's lab credit. I said, bro, this bitch is shining like a rainbow, like Lisa Yeah, because Frank. What, what it is, is, is sh- because if if I'm going to make a diamond, yeah, why am I going to make a, a bullshit diamond <laughs> versus I'm making it? Might as well make the best type of diamond. So all these Monster Knights and lab uh, created diamonds are VBS quality Yeah, with the top shade. Yeah. So when you seeing it hitting harder, that that's how I be knowing. Like still as a jeweler, I can't look and be like, oh man, that's Moss Knight. Oh no, that's Lab. If I see your shoes look fucked up or your clothes, or you hopping out some bullshit and you looking like you got all this shit on, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I ain't trying to judge, but I just can't see you with a hundred thousand dollar chain on and then give and a you fuck missing, about yeah, that. Nah, <laughs> give a fuck about nothing else. Nah. Yeah, you waiting in line. Yeah, yeah nah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, nah. You, you you 25th in line and just yeah. waiting, nigga. Nah. Nah, nah. So that nah, that's a good judge of diamonds. That's a that's, that's a very good judge. that's a very good judge. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then I mean then it'd be celebrities. Like yeah, so how about, that was yeah. the next question. Yeah. Celebrities. Yeah, celebrities, they they want it too. When you, you know, see Buster Rhymes big ass piece and someone said came out and said, it's more tonight. Nah. What are your thoughts? Not, not Buster Rhymes. Oh, oh, I mean, but I don't know. I mean, you know that's what, what someone said. I mean, yeah, I, you don't know. You I'll let him clear but, it. <laughs> but I know all that, 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 that's, to me, with Buster Rhymes getting a chain that big, that's just a, another sign of uh, success and, and hitting another milestone. You know, that's a lot. That He, he ain't fuck off his money. That's a lot of gold. Nigga. So later, like I said, it started off at 300 an ounce. Now it's 2,400 ounce. He bought that when it was 18 an ounce. It, it already went up. You know what I'm saying? So it, it you don't know. And that's a t- different type of money. This nigga getting money left and right, steady getting money coming in. So now you you getting so much money. What the fuck can I buy? What else do I buy? So, I, and you mentioned something and I want to go back to it. So uh, you were talking about bricks. And so different things in the world affect um, the, even st- the way jewelry works and shit like that. Do you ever be like, man, like, what? What do you, do you ever be like? I'm. Let me figure out a plan to like, so I don't have to lean so hard on this because the fucking the nations about these other nations that either not selling their gold or making it too hard to get to the access to the gold. Yeah, what, you, you gotta always have more than one hustle. You know, that's just that's just it. Like I, yeah. you know, got uh the, the Costa Enterprise LLC. You know, building houses. You know, mm-hmm. it's just all about uh figuring a way. You gotta, man. You gotta figure the figure your way out. You know right. what I'm saying? It, it's just like the jury game ain't like it used to. Like shit. I, and, and that that's what I was gonna say because it's like now you never think you would hear somebody say the jury game ain't like it used to be. Like you feel like we do this shit to get out of these other positions because you know you be, when nigga be like man the dope game ain't like it used to be. You be like damn now the other game the trucking yeah, game nigga, ain't the like strip it used club. to be. Right, the man, strip- you know how many strippers done say yeah Katie they ain't they ain't throwing money like that night when we went. Yeah, you know we was the only one throwing yeah, money yeah, nigga. The they they ever caught a start a warning. The right side ain't throwing no money, but the left side yeah. is. I'm like, oh god damn it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, <laughs> fool. It wasn't nobody. It wasn't nobody throwing money, and I hear that like it just. 
man, you over here like, damn, I got 500, I got my $500 check. Nigga, I gotta pay rent next week. And she's shaking her ass and damn, I, 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 you know, I don't want to not look cool, you know. Uh, it's <laughs> slowly but surely. You know, but shit, you slowly know what I'm saying? That's why, you gotta, that's why you gotta go to Bucks. Yeah. So, <laughs> go where that is, that is not the expectation. Bucks Cabaret. Yeah. So I see, I, I ain't been there in a long time, so they, I, I'm sure every stripper got their hand out. It's not like that over there. Mm. Like it. oh, okay. It's the experience. Yeah. It's the experience. <laughs> It's the experience. <laughs> so let me ask you, as far as celebrities, um, whose pieces are you impressed by when you see like celebrities out here putting that ice on? Um, I mean, it, it's just different. It's different. Like I seen some shit Drake had, like the big pointers. Like that's where the money at. Yeah. You know, I seen. Uh, I like Sauce Walker. Be shit. He be showing out to me. I I like. Um, uh, Quavo, you know, Quavo got the emerald teeth. I ain't seen nobody with that type of emerald. Yeah. Um, I like Slim Thug shit, you know. Um, <laughs> I like that nigga in the Arkansas still with the dope yeah. boy. Hey, that shit came out harder than a bitch. Now, is there, um, ha, now, I, and I, this, I guess this is where the, the mix up is. Is there anybody jury seen that you couldn't make? Like, oh, I couldn't, my, I couldn't, my shit would not look like that. No. Okay. No. <laughs> not at all. Because, if you say, all right, Drake, Drake spent a million dollars on his chain. KD, Drake want you want to spend a million dollars on a chain. Nigga, okay, well say, say, I got Drake here. Uh, we need to go with fucking 50 pointers on each link. You know, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, cause it, I got access just like everybody else. It ain't no, it ain't nothing. Them days of me not getting in the door is over with. That was the beginning. Like, oh man, it. What's this black guy doing here? And, and, and I'm going to say this too. Thank you, Amit and your family, because that's the ones who got me in the door. Amit and his family, I met Amit. He seen something in me, and he was like, man, say, this is my guy. Y'all take care of him. Ever since then, my door's been open. Anybody I can call, say, I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get an AP. I'm trying to get this. They'll, they'll give me access because my name is open for that now like hey they i don't fuck nobody i make my payments i do everything i'm supposed to be so i'm in the game for that now so mm. you would have said before you 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 can't just get walked into this shit basically nah. you have to you have to build a relationship nah. so normally a a person of your skin tone would not have this type of access no, not not that I know of. I mean, I don't. I, I'm just speaking on myself. It could right. be somebody else and and got different kind of connection. But as far as me, when I was first trying to get in, now that was. No, I mean, like when you walk into the, these factories or whatever, do you see any other black people? No, <laughs> no, I don't. Hell no, I don't. Well, I'm scared, and then I'll be dressed like this, you know, unless it's something that I have to get like in a business attire. But normally I come because. I show them my own entity. Like y'all, I'm not here because of y'all. Y'all ain't made me. Y'all ain't made me. I did all my hard work to get where I'm at, and now I got what it takes for me to deal with y'all. So my business is gonna help you just like your business is gonna help me. Cause they ain't gonna, they got all these diamonds sitting here, and then they see me with like shit. Well, you know, I'm hearing he's selling. Well, shit, let's see what he do. Take a take a little bit. Then I come back and be like, it's just like I said, like the game. You know what I'm saying? You give, you give, I'm fin I'm getting rid of it and I'm bringing back the money. So, oh hell yeah, man, what you need? All right, well, give give it all to him. And that's what that's what's going on. It's just different right now because of the jury game and you know the the economy is just kind of fucked up. You know, it's just fucked up right now, but it's still the same shit. Do you think the economy will ever get better? Or you think Man, that shit is scary, and I pray to God it does. <laughs> like, that shit is scary, because like I said, I, I feel like the only way that it can kind of level out is with a war. You know right. what I'm saying? Because they, they to me, they kind of fucking with U.S. Like, niggas, you know, now they saying, I seen, I read something that they were saying, like, they finna stop doing trades, like, as far as oil and all that with the U.S. dollar. And that's going to make go uh, uh, gas prices go up. And that's going to cause a problem. Like, what's going on behind closed doors, we don't know nothing about because we still stuck on this shit. Yeah. But they they getting something going on that they preparing or they have because, shit, they ain't going to... It's, it's There's got, no it's way that you, are, you you this your block and you've been running this shit for so long and and you're gonna let somebody come over here and, and and take over your block or tell you can't do nothing if you got that type of power. You gonna it's gonna be two things. You gonna have to get them niggas off your block or let them take your block, and that's what's gonna happen. 
And I, now I'm curious, you, you, of course you're saying you could pretty much make any piece. So if I was to say like, man, I would love a piece, uh, you know, the light wall behind you with the black and the white bulbs. I want a 3D couch and I want a KD emblem that could come on, on and off the couch, set them back on, I could take them off and yeah. that shit could be made like this. Hell yeah. Do you I, like challenges like that? Like give me like- Yeah, yeah because if I have the budget to do it, like the, I, I can do anything. Shit, I can do a piece that you can unscrew the diamonds. God damn it. You know, like <laughs> I, can, I can do a piece that you can hit a switch and the lights will come on. Nick. I can do a piece that you, I can put off four of y'all sitting here. I can have you take your motherfucking hat off. I can have you chain that Mo 3 I did. And that's yeah. when I first start fucking around. You know that Mo 3 I had, RP uh, Mo 3. Definitely that, RP. that nigga had his chain, you know, he had his watch. I had his tattoo showing all that. I did all of that. You can go on my page and look at it. I did all of that. I like shit like that. You know, it's, it's just, it's creative. It's not doing the same, uh, I just want my name. I want my logo. Or right, now nah, let's do something. Let's do something different. That's like even with Charleston. You know when that he he just showed me a picture and then I did it 3D of his face and everything. That came out clean. Even though it's simple, it came out nice and clean. Facts. Facts. So let me ask you as far as shape of diamonds. Um, you know when people look at you know the princess cuts and uh, baguettes and things of that nature. Um, what? What should people look in like? What what do? Let me ask you this: What do people gravitate towards when it comes to shape of diamonds? Solitary diamonds. Solitary. Ooh. It, everybody wants solitary because it's easy. It's easier to form with. You know what I'm saying? Like you can hit the corners with it and go all around and all that. But now you're starting to see like they doing emeralds and baguettes in the middle, then the solitary on a, on an outline and everything. So it is um, a little more expensive. Playing with solid uh, with um, with baguettes and em especially emeralds, so you ain't gonna see too many people with emeralds. Like emerald diamonds is very expensive, and it's the, sh the cut of the diamond and the setting of it. But normally people go with the solitary diamond because that's what you see in all these Kiki's and yeah. JC or whatever the case may be. These are normal diamonds that we use to to make sure that we can make it flush. There you go. Um, when it comes to permanent grills, uh, for those that don't know who's thinking about getting a permanent grill, mm. what is the upkeep of a permanent grill? Is it the same as like getting uh, uh, false teeth, uh, you know, as far as veneers? Is it? I say you definitely need to stay on top of your hygiene as far as flossing. And I tell people like um, a lot of people say that they they just brush their teeth with toothpaste or baking soda and they brush their teeth. That's it. No, nah. you need a floss in between your teeth. And use a thin floss because use a, a thick floss, sometimes it'll pop the goals out. Uh, also use like the liquid floss. And when I tell people to, that you, normally that you put water in there, put a little bit of, uh, what is it, doctor, doctor, it's a strong mouthwash. Uh, what, Dr. Teeth? Is that? It's uh, Dr. Tush or some, yeah, something, we'll something, find out. something like that. But whatever, like use Listerine or something strong that'll kill the bacteria when you brush your teeth and all that. Then just brushing your teeth, if you have diamonds with a toothbrush, that doesn't clean your gold or your diamonds completely. Get a jewelry rag and wipe it and keep wiping it till you start seeing it turning black. That's letting you know it's taking the tarnish off so you can keep that shine. And that's another, another reason too, you can spend a lot of money on jewelry, but if you don't keep your shit clean, it's not gonna shine. It's not gonna just stay shining because you spent a lot of money on it. The upkeep of keeping it clean, you know, after a couple months, go get it buff clean, get a deep buff clean, buff, you know, buff it versus just cleaning with a jewelry rag. Let it sit in some jewelry cleaner for probably like three to five minutes. Take it off, rinse it off and buff it and clean and keep that sparkle that you want because it's jewelry that would that it's supposed to stay that look forever. Is there too much cleaning you can do? No. Nah. OK. That's like, you know, like, oh, uh, I don't think so. I mean, because. I mean, it is a, it's too much buffing. Like if you put it on a buff machine, you buffing it and it's buffing the gold and it can wear it down and make it real thin. Just like um, the old school way of doing golds. Mm -hmm. You used to see like people have these 22 carats and then you'll see at the bottom, you see they teeth showing. Just man, matter of fact, uh, um, but now that I mean, his shit was just a little shout out to Dewberry, man, because you know, I seen Dewberry teeth and I was like, man, let me upgrade them 
you know, just the strength of Charleston. I tell them to come in and I, I molded them up and then I put all diamonds in this shit, you know, so Dewberry and his manager got some new uh, diamond oh, teeth from me. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, that. I did Dewberry shit and his, and his manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dewberry, man. I end up doing his, uh, doing this shit real, a uh, real, and he, and he been sending, sending me a lot of people too. I respect yeah. that. So, so as fast as saying, as far as doing too much cleaning, oh, <laughs> Dewberry, I just remember he's a, <laughs> it was so funny because he was like, yeah, he came and he did it. He's like, yeah, bro, I'm a, I'm a OG. I don't need diamonds. And, you know, yeah. I was, did, I was, this week he was on your shit. I was like, this. yeah. But see, the thing with Dewberry, Dewberry didn't, it wasn't nothing. Dewberry didn't call me and say, Katie, I need diamonds or nothing yeah. like that. I just seen an interview and I was like, shit, Dewberry got the, like the older style gold. Yeah. And then we stayed, you know, he, 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 you know, he being seen just like Charleston. Like yeah. that's Charleston, like right hand man. So, if I'm gonna take care of Charleston, I'm gonna take care of everybody, anybody in your clique, family, friends, I'm gonna make sure I take care of you. So I seen Dewberry shit like that. And I told him, come through, man, let me take those out and let me replace them. Didn't man, pay a, yeah, didn't yeah, pay yeah. a shout pen. out to me. Shout out Dewberry. Yeah, mm-hmm. Shout out Dewberry for, Dewberry for real. Um you saying too much cleaning. So for for those that are at home, and mind you, I want you to know that. KD Custom Jewelry, Gym City, they, you get your shit cleaned up there. Yeah. Hey, once yeah. you buy it, go back and holler at them. Uh, for those that do want to keep their jewelry, their diamonds at home clean, what's the best way to clean it? Cleaning kit? Should they go buy some Walmart shit? Should they? Um, you you can go. Make sure you get uh like the liquid jewelry cleaner. You can get it. You can get it on Amazon or go to Walmart. Uh, even Walmart sells the the jewelry rags. Uh, they got real good jewelry rags. You get them. They in a little red red box, and it's like a little small little cloth. The motherfuckers work real good. You clean it with that. Um, you can also look into an ultrasonic cleaner. Only thing with that, don't keep it. Man, I don't know what kind of jury you have because if you keep your jury in an ultrasonic for too long, it'll, it'll, it's just the whole time it's just vibrating, shaking, and it'll loosen up diamonds. And man, you'll, man, I, I remember when I first started doing jury, a client, man, boy, that was crazy. I, I don't know if y'all remember. You were just saying like you you went to was you said R Kelly had a yeah bracelet. R Kelly had a bracelet yeah yeah you know I, you know back then they used to call it the Boosie bracelet yeah that's exactly yeah. what it was yeah so after that start going like everybody start getting into that which it was a nice price back then they start making them with some real 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 small pave diamond like real real small diamonds pave. yeah micro micro pave that's exactly what it was. A client gave gave me his bracelet to clean. I kept it in the I kept it in the ultrasonic for like ten minutes. Oh, nigga. bro! When I when say like, when I got that shit back, nigga. this nigga had about fifty diamonds missing. Oh, I said, nigga. "Oh my god!" And then I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't tell him like, "Oh, your diamond came." Man, I had to go back there and shit and put it in. Sit there and put it in. He was yeah. like, is it ready? I'm like, nah, I still give it a little more time to me. I'm working. It took me damn near like an hour and 20 minutes to replace all them diamonds in there. And I, so, go ahead. I'm about to say, nah, and I will say this. I did use the ultrasonic cleaner one time. And again, I had called you personally and said, hey, what should I use? You're like, don't yeah. use the ultrasonic. I'm like, man, Katie don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> man, I used that bitch. Goddamn diamond popped out. That's what I called you. Say, Katie, yeah. can you replace this diamond? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, man, just take it up to the gym. See, they got you. Yeah. So thank you. I, you know, you told me not yeah. to use the motherfucker. I, man, you just <laughs> put it in there just for a second, look at it, and then take it out. Yeah. And then that's another. Every every work that I do, you got a lifetime warranty. Now I'm gonna give uh, normally because I'm in and out. It's gonna be iced out B, a uh, champ, or a Glock. Most most people know who Glock is because Glock been in the game for a minute. Iced Out B, that's my right hand, and Chambe is an up and coming jeweler also. So that's my team that's at Gym City. So if y'all need anything, repairs or warranty, we'll take care of you on that end. So everything that I do, you have a warranty with because I stand behind it. And that's just what it is. Shit. I think it's a. Uh... I think it's important for people to know also that you do a lot of jewelers don't do bench work. They don't set diamonds. They don't, they, you know, they don't know how to look through us the the op the, the lens and see what it but you do do bench work. You have set yeah, diamonds. Yeah, I did before. I did all that. Like I I've been doing that. It's just now that I'm at a point that I don't have to do that no more unless I want to. But shit, I got so much other shit going. Nigga, when was the last time y'all seen Johnny Dang set a diamond? Nigga, Johnny, do you think Johnny got time to, to set diamonds? That's like the nigga who uh, McDonald, the nigga who started McDonald's. You know that nigga was in there flipping them burgers. Once he got to a certain level, you, man, that's a I'ma pay you to do that, nigga. I'ma handle this other side of the business, yeah. and that's what I do. You know, I, I deal with certain people, 
Now, if it's somebody, like if it's something like a special occasion or something like that, or got sentimental value, like a like a wedding ring for like if y'all want some, some one of y'all was getting married or something, that'll be something that I want to sit and do because th- this is for me to y'all. Like nigga, I made this for y'all. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like this is something I want for y'all for me. But other than that, unless a nigga's paying the numbers that I want to make me sit down and stop doing everything that I'm doing, then no. Now I you, got him, 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 and him, and him, and him, and him, and her, and him, and him, and him to do that, do all that for I just, me. I think it's important to know because, like, you hear a lot of jewelers say, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, he's not a real jeweler because, mm-hmm. you know, all he does is middleman work. Yeah, I mean, he get to, he goes somewhere, he get he gets somebody to do the mold or the mm-hmm. cast, he gets somebody to do the the CAD yeah. and all that good shit. He ain't never sat at a bench, but you've actually sat at a bench. You did it all, there. yes, and and see that it's a. It's a team, like, and that's any any jeweler. It's a team. You, it take a long time. Just this, for example, how long it it took me just to send you that uh the new piece that that we about to do for you. Uh, the shit. design a, a month. Cause I didn't even, <laughs> and really, uh, I when you sent it to me, I was like, damn, we doing that. But I, shit, nigga, uh, you see, we it. had we. It wasn't hiccups, but. You, we did it this way. Right. Then you was like, "Damn, what about if we do it this way?" Right. And all right. So I gotta take the time out to change that up. Now, how this look? Oh, I'll look good. But no. But, but you know, yeah, the revisions and everything that was instantaneous. Uh, and uh, I didn't never the 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 what I had the what I the idea I had in my head and what you created was totally bigger than what I thought it was <laughs> could be. That's what you know, I do, I was baby. Like, and you know, I was, cause I was like, uh, shit, I just wanted something to wear every day. And I'm thinking like, I need, might need to throw this bitch on the Cuban and wear it to the, to the Grammys. Say, yeah, <laughs> say, say. And then it was like, and well, it, what, what we think about, and then like, no, like but, oh, man, I just take a simple bell. No, I'm like, but, nah, what about if we- No, 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 that was, yeah, you was like, Tish. nah, he's like, you was like, you could do simple or you could make it your own. And you know what I'm saying? But the best part about it was, this is what he was like. I was like, uh, well, shit, I'm trying to spend this. He was like, nah, you don't need to, you don't need to do, you don't need to spend that. We can send, spend this. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you're going to have the same, it's going to give you the same thing and it's going to do what it need to do. And I really appreciated that yeah. because uh, I'm not no dope boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. This Monday, bro, I'm talking about blood and sweat. Yeah. And you know, nigga. You, and, and, and then and, when y'all get it appraised, that be making me feel good. Cause when you get it appraised, it show everything. That's why I like I like to do the appraisal. And the simple it's different reasons. I'm buying diamonds from India. Right. Everybody's getting their diamonds from India or Africa or whatever the case may be. So just because a nigga selling me some diamonds and saying, well, KD, these are VH1 diamonds. I'm charging mm-hmm. this amount, this this many carats, this and that. Okay. But that's what you say it is. But let me go to a third party mm-hmm. and see what it is. So after I do everything that I'm supposed to do for y'all, this allows us both to be comfortable. Well, right. we got to the praise that came back. Okay. Yeah. It's VH1. All right. It's that many carats. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, shit, we good to go. Right. Now I know, damn, nigga, these SIs was shit. Hold on, nigga, ain't on me. Let me tell you, y'all sold me some <laughs> SIs, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So right. just being able to do that and allowing all my clients to know what they getting and what they spending their money for and then seeing what it's getting appraised for is like another blessing because it's like, man, I told you, I ain't worrying. I'm seeing, not going to put they bit, I'm not going to say no names, but man, I went to blah, 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 and he told me, Twenty thousand, and then you come to me, and I'm like, "Well, I should I can do it for twelve. Then that kind of give a red flag to some people. Cause I'm like, twelve thousand nigga, and he would charge me twenty. Man, what man? What what what? what it's lab dumb, this and that. Nah, nigga, I'm not you know, gotta tax you. There was a there was a you know, and I've heard that a lot. Um, there, there's a jeweler that I like to watch on IG. His name is Trax NYC. And he was talking about this very same thing. He was like, he's like, well, what are you, what are you doing that he's not doing? It, well, that dude is fucking you. Yeah, for real. real <laughs> that dude shit. is about to get over on you. I'm just trying to do good business. Yeah. That dude about to get over on you. So you can go spend that yeah. and, get, and be mad in a couple of months or you can shop with me 
and do good business. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I'll go through that. Like, I, uh, you know, it's social media. So you see people. It's people I know. And it's, it's funny because it's normally the people that you don't know support you versus the people that do know you. Right. And it's a difference. Like, if I know you and you know this what I do. I've been doing I've been in the city for so long doing this shit. Everybody know what I do. Yeah. So it's a difference if you say, say, Katie, man, I got this. Uh, I got this breakdown from this jeweler. And um, you don't even got to tell me what he charged you. You like say, uh, what you charge me to do that? And I was like, well, shit, uh, after doing my ca- calculations and shit, man, um, I can do, I'll do you 15,000. And he like, yeah, he's trying to get over, nigga. He told me 10,000. I can understand that. But that's not the case. Niggas don't bring me shit and be like, say, what's your charge for that? They'll go get it done and then be like, I see him like, oh, damn, that's clean. Yeah, man, uh, blah, 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 did me 15000 for it. I'm like, damn, nigga, charge you 15000 for that? <laughs> yeah. Man, nah. I could have, you know, I'm like, damn, I could have did you. Hey, you should have at least just asked me, like, say, what's your charge me? That way you can see if I'm a hoe ass nigga or not, or if I'm really saying what I'm saying. Like, give me the opportunity to, to fuck over you or say some fucked up shit for you to be like, nah, nigga, you ain't, you charging too much. They don't even, they don't even do that. I ain't gonna lie. Are you really in the business of beating prices, though? Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, I, cause Hell I, yeah. I always wonder, it's like, it's like, and I'm not comparing you, but it's like the pastor, right? Like, everybody's like, why is the pastor, well, shit, I mean, if, if we, if the, why does the pastor want the church to have money? Or why does he say, uh, give to the church? Well, if the pastor don't eat, then do he preach? Or if, if KD giving everybody deals, do he get to still keep making drill? Or do he go broke? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, uh, what is the incentive to, like, like try to be the mo- the the guy who is beating prices. Like what is what does that do for you? All right, it's a nigga in the game now. Yeah, it ain't I, it ain't. I'm not a I'm not another race that's been doing this and getting over on us for this long. Right, it's a nigga in the game. I'm looking at I'm looking at the numbers right. and which it'll be not like I would love to be charging niggas with Johnny charging and, and riding in Ferraris and all this shit. Going, I going to roll them Yeah, all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing all that shit. I would love to do that. But it's just like, I have a different type of, I, them niggas ain't in the streets. They ain't right. walking, they ain't, they ain't moving the way I'm moving. So the last thing I want to do is get into it with somebody that I overcharge or niggas, man, don't fuck that nigga. He charged too much. Now nah, I don't want that. I want you to be like, damn, this nigga, man, KD charged me this neck because it's enough room for me to still eat. I don't right. have to eat. I'd rather, I'll take, you can you can give me a little bit that I'm, I'm just getting fed and you continue feeding me a little bit right. versus you here. And then I eat that and then you're like, yeah, nigga, you... You, nah, I'm never gonna uh-uh, be with you. Nah, I'll never do that again, nigga. Cause you, 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 you got over on me or whatever the case may be. Right. It's not on that. Like I went to, I went to the parks mall, and it's not a known uh, jewelry store because I ain't shooting no slugs at nobody. It's not a known jewelry store, and I seen a ring. I, you know, I was like, man, this is a nice ring. I was like, what, what do you want for this ring? And I said, before you tell me the price, before you tell me the price. I'm actually a jeweler. She looked at me. You know, I'm a I'm a jeweler and I do this and I know how to read these tags. <laughs> I know how to read these tags. So she like, oh no, okay, yes, yes. I'll still you Okay, uh <laughs> when I seen this, I was like, oh hell no. Nah. Anytime they pull out a calculator, nigga, just know they on some bullshit. Cause they see the it's the price is on there. Right. You just gotta know how to read it. I wish I could give you the game, but nigga, I'll fuck around and get killed. I'll tell you that one. <laughs> but you can read it a certain way and see how much it costs. Or you can divide it by a certain number. It's just different tags, do you know, different color, different tags, all that. Right. So I looked at it, and I the tag was like, it was uh 459, the cost of it. Mm-hmm. She was like, oh, for and the tag, I the it said four fifty nine as far as how much it cost them, right? But the tag for it was like five thousand eight hundred and something, like five thousand eight hundred something. So I was like, "Uh, go make your money, but you know, just you know, like I said, just give me a good price." She was like, "Oh, for you, I do you 
2,800. And I said, damn. <laughs> I just told you I'm a jeweler. I'm not, I'm not a reading. And then I, I grabbed the, the, the ticket and I held it. And I said, that's not the price. She, oh, you are. Yes, you are, jeweler. You, yes, yes, yes. Oh. And I said, damn, that's fucked up. You finna charge me that much more over this? <laughs> so if they doing that at the mall, they, that's what they, you know, she just a sales woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so they telling her what you need to do. So that's what y'all experience. And when y'all go to the jewelry st uh, stores in the mall, because they know what they need to give you. Like, let's say it's um, what what I own a four eighty, five eighty, whatever four eighty. Yeah. Man, man, say give me, give me nine hundred, my name. Yeah. I'm still making my money. That's right. enough for me. I, that that cover the cost, and I still made something to put it back into the jewelry store. I don't need to charge you no fucking twenty eight hundred for the shit. And then you go somewhere else and somebody give you a better price and be like, damn, I spent 28. This nigga charged me 15. But, you know, the crazy shit I said, because I wanted some areas, some uh, some clusters. Uh, and that was nice. The dude was like, give me 6,000. I was like, I'm not giving you 6,000. And he was like, for you, for you, 4,800. So quickly. Yeah, for I, you. But I was like, <laughs> for you. I was like, if you went down from six thousand yeah, to forty eight hundred, I know these hoes cost the same. <laughs> they when they stay for you, you nigga. <laughs> And then yeah. when you walk away, hey, come here, just come, 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 come back, come, yeah, yeah, come, come back. back. What do you no, got? No. Yeah. <laughs> what you got on you? What can you put on there? Yeah. yeah. So wait, so do you compete with like the the Zells, the uh the I'm killing the them. That that's nothing. Hold like on, I'm hold killing on. them. Let's talk about layaway. That don't even exist. Let's, let's talk. Yeah, about I do lay away. No, 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 no. No, let let's. So, cause I always looked at layaway like, oh yeah, put something down today, and then they never come back. <laughs> yeah, it do. It do be that too, but, though. Right, nigga put down fifteen hundred, and he took that L, or like you said, the PPP loan. Yeah. <laughs> and like, oh yeah, we, yeah, just put something down today. How far do you go? How much revenue you think jewelry stores make off the layaway? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you can. I right, it's 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 ways that you can look at it. Yeah. Like on my receipts, I give my clients up to sixty days. And then if I mean, if you call and be like, man, K, I'm in a fucked up situation, my nigga. Like, can I get some more time? All right, cool. Yeah. Or custom orders. That's where we have a problem at, and it's just common sense. Nigga, right. I done made this for you. Now you, you can't pay, and then you ask me for your money back. No, no, no. you. I will give you a certain. Back if it if it compensates the labor, the material that I had to use. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. tell people store credit, you know, like you can get store credit on it, but it just depends. There's a certain percentage that I can give back. Cause shit, we done made this shit, nigga. What if it's a piece that you could sell? Like, you know, like, damn, this could probably sell. Like, I could probably get this off if I put it out there with my other pieces. Yes. I mean, if it's like that, if it's something that I can put out, which a lot of times you get custom shit, it's not shit you can put back out there. I tell them, like, well, shit, man, you can do store credit. I'm not finna give you the money back after spending. I just had to pay my my jewelers to do this. Like, we took time to design it and do all this shit for you to say, I don't want it no more. I want my money back. No, nigga. No, I don't. Have you ever, has a nigga ever made a piece of you as like, I I I I I rock this. I'm just gonna wear. <laughs> I mean, I I would. Yeah, I seen some shit that came out real far, but you know, be having people name on it, so I'm not gonna wear that. But yeah, I I'm telling that y'all go look at that that uh like the baby shit. That shit is nice. That motherfucker about that big. It spins. Oh yeah. You know that that's a nice piece. That uh that dough boy man. I'm telling that shit. That I think it said we'll, dough boy. We gonna put that dough boy on screen so people can know. Yeah yeah. No, 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 I want no, no, you to because no, 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 that nigga shit. But, that that's you know hard. shit. Her shit came out real fire too. That I was like, I need, I, I would love to have that uh, stunner for Vegas shit. Yeah, but his we shit. did his shit too. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, his we did his shit too. Yeah, yeah, we did his shit too. Now, now you mentioned, of course, competing because, like, for instance, my girl was at, uh, I believe, Zell's or K, one of one of the main mm -hmm. companies, and she saw a pendant she loved. She was like, "Ooh, two thousand dollars! I want to try to get that." And I'm like, "Man, you could probably get something custom that because they're selling you what." It's out here, and I know it's on sale. It's Mother's Day sale, whatever. But you could probably go to KD and get something that you want. Yeah. For around. So when it comes to if, for those who are shopping at the uh, at the mall and those high end jewelry stores, what would you tell them about coming to KD Custom Jewelry? 
When you come to Katie Custom Jewelry, <laughs> it's gonna be custom made. Like I'm gonna custom make something. You ain't gonna walk around with a bracelet that she gonna have, she gonna have, she gonna have. No, it's gonna be yo, yo, like yours. It's gonna be, it's nobody can say, well, I got this. You know, even with the bullet bracelet, you know, like niggas ain't walking around with this. It's something different. Now, Puzu, the nigga from Fort Worth, got this in actual uh AK bullets, which is bigger. But his shit is exactly like this, but big. And I, I think this one is 20 carats. His is like 60 carats. So, yeah, you come to Katie Custom Jewelry I'm a, or Gym City. I'm going to make sure you have something that's for you and not some shit that you like, oh, I got engaged. And you're like, oh, damn, I got engaged too. It looked the same. Nah, it's going to be your it's gonna be your ring for you and only now, you. Now, who you just made some shit for that, that came out that was really fire was Kitty and Millie. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Kitty shit, shit yes. Shit so, yes. You know, how are women really getting pieced up? Like, I mean, cause Some you know, I'm, I'm walking into the like I seen a nigga say uh, on, online. He was like, "Man, these uh, these women in the these women out here, they piece that man. They, you go to the strip club, they got these pieces. Yeah. They talk about uh, uh, that. Can you get a da- bitch? Can, you, can you, you get me a da- Can I get a dance for you, bitch? Say, well, can you uh, get a- <laughs> say, I'm I'm a Ted Kitty. That's a hustler." Yeah, like sure. that, like that. I like, like I fuck with her. Her music is nice. I think if, if the right person get behind her, cause she's trying to do everything on her own. Right. But she's a hustle. She just got done sh- shooting. Uh, she did a concert in her, like I think her hometown or something like that. And you know she rented out the venue. She brought brought her own liquor. I think they did a car wash. So I mean, yeah, females is out here getting honey. Uh, honey doing her shit. Yeah, uh, that honey, the one with the uh, what what is it? The uh, she got the fluffy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She got you know, I think somebody offered her like thirty, forty thousand for her dog or some shit like that. You know, she came and, and got a a a, a Cardi. She got a Cardi uh, watch from us. So it's females out here fucking around. Yeah, sh- she- shout out. Uh, she came on the podcast, Raylan Watts. Mm. She came in. Uh, I'm gonna show you her piece, but she came in with a guy. I ain't seen no nigga with a piece this hard. I'm like, what okay. the fuck going on? Like, yeah. it ain't making no sense. It ain't making no sense. But shout out to the female bosses out there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's doing their shit. <laughs> that's doing their yeah, shit. Yeah, and I'm doing something. Um, what is it called? Uh, build a babe. You know, a uh, female named Princess out here. She doing building houses and shit. She doing her thing too. Um, shit, I did some shit for. Uh, I'm doing. I'm tell who who coming with a hard ass piece next though. Uh, Napis Spain. Oh yeah, her her current <laughs> piece. Her current yeah. piece is tight. Like, this is like, this new fuck. one. She, this new oh, one she man, got. God damn. Man, mm. I, yeah, man, it's fucked up when a nigga got to compete with the female. Like, let me go get, let me go back to my, bro. I, 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 to my I, bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I be in the club with these young ladies. They be having the, the Cartiers on. They be having Cubans. Yeah. I'm like, what's the what's the point anymore? Like, nigga, you better. Nigga, I hope they're like, they coming with it. It's, it's a chick named Jazz. I don't know who did hers, but her shit was hard too. Cause I can tell the quality. She mm-hmm. cause anytime I see a female and they look like I gotta look at them like, damn, she a rapper? Or she right. rap? You know, that that's that look like, damn, what the fuck you I just this, always, what you got going on? I just on? always be like, where you dance at? Cause ain't no <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Let me ask, can you appraise a piece just from looking at it? If you know it's like natural stones, can you look at someone's Jewelry and question like they spend between this and this for that. Yeah, yeah, I can I can look at because I think like what would I what would I have charged for something like that? Ah, you okay. know what I'm saying? So yeah, all right. Yeah, so I can. also with uh, Gem City Katie Customs, uh, does appraisals come with? No, the ask for. So yeah, no. t- tell them about that. Yeah, and and that now if this is my opinion, if you buying something from somebody and they saying it comes with an appraisal. That's a red flag to me mm. because it's telling you, well, this is uh, this piece is VVS diamonds and it's worth this much. We made it now. You know what I'm saying? I, that's just your word. That could be SIs and it can call, you know what I'm saying? So you telling them, oh, you don't even have to go get a check because we already got it appraised for you. Now you get your shit appraised. From another company, like a lot of times when I get, it, I send it off. It's a company in New York that I, I deal with. It's a company in California that I deal with, and it's a company in Houston that I deal with. And the reason why I deal with these companies is because when they appraise it, they give you a serial number that automatically go into the system. So when your insurance company asks you for that number, they oh yeah, you got the 
blah, 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 and it's appraised for this amount. Okay, and this is what it's going to cost. Now, I have, I, I, I've kind of been hearing this, and I think you you asked me recently about what company to go with. I, I tell people to go with uh with Jewelry Mutual, but I don't know if a lot of stuff has been going on that people have been doing other things that they're not taking, because I think uh, somebody told me, you know, I called Jewelry Mutual and they told me no. They said, for the price of my piece, yes. uh, for the price that it's appraised for, uh, just the automatic order, like, nah, we can't insure it. Yeah. They just, it's a red flag, some kind of red flag must have went up. I'm like, But oh. see, I, I heard the, the zip code. Mm. Zip code, if you if your zip code South got- Dallas. <laughs> Yeah, if it, yeah, see, yeah, see, because somebody told me that I don't know if it was Rook or some Rook. I think somebody called me like, man, they were saying because of zip code they didn't want to, yeah, they didn't want to, the honor the Which I get it, high crime area, blah blah yes. blah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's another thing. So yeah, I end up going with a. Your dog gonna get kicked in. Yeah. I end up going with like Liberty Mutual, whatever. You yeah. Know, it's cool. It's cool. But for those that don't know, you can insure jewelry, correct? Yes. Um, your homeowner insurance, your you homeowner's can go with insurance. That, or you can Google like what jury, you know, company in your area that will do it. But it might not be like the first one. Like you said, like I've heard that before, but then I've seen somebody get a hundred and thirty thousand dollar piece uh insured with uh oh, jury. Yeah, South Lake, oh yeah, North Richmond yeah. Hills. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, <laughs> we got you. No, we got you. So I think it, it is the zip code though. That might be something. Yeah, yeah some on there, god damn it. Mm -hmm. Um man, it's a lot, this is a lot of good game. This is a lot of good game, man. I, I do want to say this. Uh we just had Togetherland. A lot of people stepped out with the ices and pieces on. Uh did, for, you, go, uh, did you go to Togetherland? Nah. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, I didn't make it. Did you go to uh Mocha Fest? Nah, I didn't make it. Yeah, man, you don't make shit. It's like, God, it's like, cause that nigga, I'm, I'm, it's like, it's just like, That nigga like, be now, in Costa Rica. You went to Costa Rica, though. Yeah, man, <laughs> yeah. Now, overseas is my thing. I got to get away. But yeah, I just, I really just been, been working. And then, like, like I said, dealing with these houses and shit like that, like, my mind is somewhere, somewhere else right now. Understandable. Um, with that being said, uh, a lot of people would, you know, put their jewelry on, put their shit on. Um, for Dallas as a grade in the city of, you know, guys who wear jewelry, what grade would you give Dallas from like F minus or A plus? How well do we put on jewelry? Do, do you, like, are we down here? Are we up there? Like, nah, we, I, I feel like we up here because it is like we do have, um, you know, we do have like the Ice Champ. We do have Manhattan. We yeah. got Solomon. So it's a lot of... Um, and then um, now, and I mean more so also for the artist. I seen Zillionaire Doe shit and I'm like, ooh. I yeah. seen Bokane just come down with some shit. I'm like, okay. Then um damn. Oh man. Um big X to plug shit. Big X to plug, yeah, six hundred. You know like, six hundred. Yeah. For, for the for those pieces and then him to also give out to his people. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's like the the ice is getting icier, which is a yeah. good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I I don't I feel like we right where we need to be at. We right there now. Now the streets and the economy was a little better. I mean, I know we'll be, <laughs> but I'm from this era that I've been seeing jury being sold since the 2000s. You know, the early yeah. 2000s. So I know it just right now. Just, I mean, shit just off a little. We got to get adjusted to what's going on and figure out what's you know what is what. But now nah, we still coming out icing. We Let definitely me ask still you. coming out icing. Um, we just had a badass storm that came through Dallas the other day. Uh, damn near like a tornado hit yeah. Garland or Richardson. Does that remind you of the time you and Big Tuck almost went through that tornado? Tuck, Texas, uh, Tuck, <laughs> Texas Tuck NATO? <laughs> nah, nah, that was different. We were dry. It didn't, we didn't feel none of that. Them niggas were sleeping. I seen a tornado like damn near four miles down, nigga. nigga. And that shit pissed me off because I'm driving like, oh, nigga, hell no. Nah. <laughs> nigga, what nigga, nigga. As soon as Chuck woke up, that motherfucker just went up. He like, he looking at me like, nigga. I'm like, nah, it wasn't safe. I swear. I swear it was. Boy, it was a tornado right there. Yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that shit's that's crazy, crazy, man. That was, I'll never forget that shit. If there like, is some... I'm about real say, quick, real quick, I'm going to say this. Man, uh, free my nigga Trap Boy Freddy. Yes. Like, I ain't hear nobody saying that, but free yeah. my nigga Trap Boy Freddy. And anybody in his family that seen this video... Contact me so I can do what I need to do. Cause I I know he got a daughter. I've been, you know, I've been trying yeah. to, I've been hitting his IG, nobody responding. I want to do something for the daughter and look out for him while he's gone. But free that nigga trap, cause you, he always kept shit 100 with me. You wanna know why people don't say free trap? Because they like literally gave him 18 months and they're like, ah, right, you know, Man, he'll be fuck out. That, nigga. <laughs> fuck he'll be that, out nigga. Soon enough. Free me if I'm in there for one yeah. day, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck nah. that. 
Fuck that, nigga. <laughs> man, free get, trap, you know what's nigga. So, you know what's so crazy? And, and shout out Trap Man. That's the Jim City made that piece, and that's one of the yes. hardest pieces. Yeah, nah, in yes. the motherfucking city. Hell and yeah! Like, and every time I see, <laughs> every time I see, I be like, I wonder why Trap never buy another. Oh, because that's probably the only piece he's ever gonna fucking need. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that and that he and that uh, little Mexico shit, like he wanted a Mexico, uh, like the the Mexico the, uh, the state, state, state that shape. shit. But that that chest opening and all that, like, that's why I'm saying that's being creative. And, and let me say this because this is just a sell, KD man. Um, for those that's out there got some money, came across whatever, and want to go buy jewelry. Yes, you can go online and see some shit for 10,000, some Cuban link. That's cool now. Everybody, you know, everybody wants a Cuban link, but when it comes to like Trap Boy, and even when TK Kirkland sat here and was like, question our pieces. Yeah. And I had to like let them know like, man, this is custom shit like yeah. of our brand. That means more. Yeah. To go get your shit custom made, a piece is just, to me, hits a whole yeah. lot more home yeah. versus buying something from somebody, somebody else could wore it. You know, you could have yeah. went to the pawn shop and got it and it could have been on a lot of dirty necks. Yeah. But to get that custom piece made of your own brand, KD Customs could get that for you. Yeah. Uh, nigga, go make you a logo right now. Yeah. Uh, get it licensed or trademarked or whatever. And this man oh, could- he'll make it. You know, he'll yeah. make it. He'll yeah. make the goddamn yeah. logo for you. You just give me the idea and I'll put it together. And Come I on, guarantee, man. shit, I ain't heard nobody come back complaining. I, like I haven't. My complaint rate is nigga zero. I, I don't damn, hear none of that. I damn near cried when our shit was built. I ain't, and nigga, and nigga, I, nigga, I wanted to complain. I wanted to be like, because, you know, I've always been, it's like when you hear, and it's going to sound fucked up, but like, even when you hear about black people, like a black dentist or a black pilot or, it do, niggas doing anything except chicken. When you hear about a nigga doing something at a very high level, there's always a little bit of skepticism. Yeah. And it's like, but nigga, you nigga, you, you. Shit. Say, I just, I went, I went, say, I started my own lane. Like I did, I yeah. did, was, was one thing that my mother uh, put in us growing up. And what God got for is for you. It ain't no man, ain't nobody can tell. Now it's going to be obstacles, you know, I'm going to be climbing and somebody going to grab my foot, I'm going to slide down, but I'm going to keep climbing. And that's just what it is. What I'm doing is, is people slowly start to do it now, but that's, Nigga, I'm already. I already took off running. You know what I'm saying? I'm already. I'm already where I'm at. I'm, I'm now. I'm trying some other things, but the jury game, nigga, I got that on lock. If you got your money, if you got your money for it, I got that shit on lock. It's nothing, and I'm gonna work with your budget. I'm not gonna try to tax you. It's not that. Let's build a. Let's build a relationship, nigga. It's still niggas out of town that never. Never met me in person and spoke to me, man. Say, K, you a real nigga, man. I got I just got my shit in the mail, my nigga, everything right. Now I went and got it to praise, bro. They, yeah, that's what it's gonna be. Like I want my my name gonna stay clean and clear. Cause that's what that's the type of big business and energy I'm putting out there. That's what it is. Well, with that being said, uh, we definitely um real life got some uh, new shit coming from Yes, y'all do. Uh cannot wait to uh unveil some shit, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna go back to Gym City, we're gonna go back to KD. Uh, you know, show the world what we, you know, you know, do the whole thing. And um, when people see that, when people see us step out, they be like, oh, y'all shit hidden, man. Oh, y'all together. Fuck. Yeah. KD Custom, this is the man right here who got that stuff together. So um, I will tell you to give out your phone number so they can just text you or call yeah, you. Yeah, nigga, shit. 682-597-0983 or hit me on IG, the, the gym CD, KD Custom Jerry or KD the jeweler. If I don't answer, B gonna answer, Glock gonna answer. Like, we gonna make sure we take care of you. Like I said, at 682-597-0983, nigga. Let's do it. Man, you know what I'm saying? KD, you always kept it solid. Uh, what we need, I feel like what we need to work on, and this is why, just bringing it back full circle, uh, you are a celebrity, but you don't live your celebrity. You you know, I feel like the nigga, a reason a nigga can say, uh, any nigga say is, Johnny Dang Diamonds because they don't see KD. They don't see him, uh, at, you know, they don't see him at these events and all these, you know, and I feel like, you know, unfortunately with our people, to build your brand, they got to be able to put their hands on you. Yeah. So, man, let's start getting in these streets. Let's start putting it in your face, man, because you shine harder than most of the, any of these niggas, really. And, uh, shit, you already know, man, you are a real life street star. Yeah. So let's go. Let's get it. And let's, hey, hey and, uh, Gangsta, if you watch this, this who gonna be making your piece. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah I got you. I got yeah. you, gangster. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. Shout out Real Street.
three stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.